So I wanted to do a video to show how we have now gone to seven kilo carry-on luggage. Uh, we're traveling long term. Uh, this year we're going to travel for about 10 months and we want to do it seven kilo carry-on, which is pretty difficult, but it's possible. In the past, we have traveled with 80 uh, liter backpacks with 20 kilos in, with a day bag with seven kilos in, We've carried up to between 25 and 30 kilos and it's absolutely ridiculous. After about 25 years of long haul travel on and off, we've decided finally to go down the carry on. Now this is a massive move for us, um, but we're gonna do it. You can see how we used to travel here. We're walking two and a half kilometers with our stuff. Yeah. This is our food bag with my day bag in it. Uh, this is a technology bag with like the camera, the steri pen, a solar charger, all these other sorts of things. Uh -huh. I think the technology bag's about nine kilos, and my backpack's about fourteen kilos, and the food bag's about six. So this is this is how we travel. <laughs> so we've moved away from travelling heavy, and we've come light. So in order to do that, what we've done is bought a backpack that's suitable for it. Now. Pablo and Coco are going to be in this because they're around and they like bags. Uh, and I'm going to it's the joy show. of house sitting. Yeah, we're house sitting. So this is the Osprey 40 litre um, backpack. Pablo, do you don't, don't, seriously, don't think it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was so oh, comfortable. Can you go back on in a this is the Osprey 40 litre, which is perfect for um, taking carry-on luggage. So you don't have to check anything in. Big enough to get everything in there. If you're smart, you can get it down to seven kilos and you can carry on only. Now, that is a massive bonus because A, you don't have to pay for extra luggage. Budget airlines, like the one we've just traveled with, Jetstar, charge like 30 to $40 uh, extra for check-in luggage. So we've saved our money on that, um, which is what you can spend on further down the line on buying other stuff. And the other good thing is you won't get lost, lost luggage because you've got it on board with you. You've got everything with you. It's fantastic. So it's definitely the way to go. We spent years traveling heavy and we realized like everyone around us was like getting around so easy and getting off public transport. We thought, what are we doing? So we've got to do this. So it's been a massive um, change for us, but this is how we now do it. So we've got the Osprey 40 litre and this is what I'm packing to travel for the next 10 months or so before we get to the UK. So first, uh, Pablo, I'll share, we've got some packing cubes, which are awesome. They're very cheap to get and they organize your stuff. So uh, in this first packing cube, I've got basically a um, smart shirt, which you need around. So I've got that rolled up. Rolling is way better than putting everything flat because you can pack it in nice and compact and tight. So that's really good. I've got a shirt, I've got a um, merino wool uh, long sleeve warm top. These merino tops are awesome. I recommend these for traveling because they're very light, they're very warm uh, and they're very compact. So they're perfect for the job. Uh, and then I've got three t-shirts in there, quite lightweight t-shirts which roll up nicely. So that's my tops. I've also got uh, a fleece and a coat, which I'm going to wear on the plane, and that's a good way of getting around this seven kilo rule. If you're wearing the stuff, uh, they're not going to weigh it. They're only weighing what's in your bag, so you just want to put in your bag the lightest stuff possible. So next uh, on my bigger one, I've got my, my longs, which is basically, I'm going to wear a pair of jeans on the plane, and a t-shirt, and this other stuff, and then I've got one uh, long pair of um, combats, which I'll which are handy for traveling, they're not too heavy, so that's my other long trousers. I've got a pair of boardies rolled up. You need your boardies. I've got a hanky in there, never travel without a hanky. And I've got uh, my pair of shorts rolled up as well. Oh, I've also got a pair of like sports shorts, which I wear for sleep shorts, in, uh, if you're in hostels and stuff like that, it's good to, you know, if you're sleeping in those, it's easy to walk around without being in your underwear. Uh, I've also got a thick pair of woolly socks that are nice and cozy when you've got uh, when you're in somewhere a bit cooler. So that's my longs. And then moving on to the small packing cube uh, is the underwear basically. And I've, uh, three pairs of underwear. I've gone from boxers to briefs now because I've realised that boxers 
twice the size, they weigh twice as much, and this is more practical for packing. So uh, I'm gonna wear a pair, three pair of briefs, and then I've got three pairs of black socks and three pairs of white ankle socks to go with my trainers. All packed up, nice and, nice and compact. So next up, going into the main compartment of the bag is uh, my medical kit, which is really basic now because we've realized you can buy everything everywhere around the world from pharmacists. So we've just got a few tablets for dodgy stomachs, uh, anti-inflammatories, antihistamine, that kind of thing, and a few um, band-aids and stuff like that. So that's the will go in there. And then there's my washing kit. Again, you, need, you can buy everything anywhere, but it's always good to have some deodorants uh, my shaving gear. Um, Remembering, of course, it all has to be under 100 mil because you're taking it as carry-on yeah. onto the plane itself. Yeah, so actually I'll, I'll take the um, deodorant out of that and I'll put that into my bag with my fluids in, which is what I'm going to carry on anyway. That's a separate bag, so that's not going inside. That's the medical kit, the washing kit, and it's nice and compact. So the last thing to go in is this uh, small pouch that I like to carry stuff around in. It's just one of those carrier bags that you can roll into a pouch. So now all this stuff is going to go inside the bag. Okay, Pablo, you're just going to let us do that for a minute, and then you can then you can go back if you if you, if you want. Um. <laughs> You know the stuff. Oh, you can get back on. So here we go. So this is going in. So you just look after that. That's good. So what's it? Sorry, what is that green fold you have down on that you're putting all the stuff onto? Uh, that's just like a, a um, polythene bag, which I'm going to use to put some um, footwear in, maybe some. Uh, Jandals, thongs, flip flops, whatever you want to call them. Because something um, that we've read is that it's really good to keep yeah your shoes separate from your clothes. Let me pop that one in, Babs. Thanks, mate. Okay, so that goes in there nicely, and that's what's in the bottom of the bag. Is it better? Hang on. <laughs> uh, and then in the next case is my laptop. Yeah, you just sit there, mate. The laptop goes in there, that slides in the top, and the only other thing I've got in there is uh, a bit of paperwork, like insurance and photo passport photocopies, things I might need like that. And then in the top pocket, uh, just a few things that you need on a regular basis. Uh, sunglasses, a couple of pairs of reading glasses, which I need now, and I'm always losing them, so I've got like three pairs of those. More sunglasses, a uh, couple of pads for writing stuff in. I've got um, a pouch with some spare headphones in for listening to your device, always useful. Uh, one of my passports there, uh, another spare, one of my, an old passport there that I'm taking out. Okay, so all of this together is what is going in this bag, and this weighs exactly seven kilos. Now, most airlines, well, a lot of airlines, they offer different amounts for carry-on. Some do eight kilos, some do 10 kilos. The next flight we're going on is going is Scoot, taking us all the way to Athens from Sydney, and they're giving us 10 kilos, so it's brilliant. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, we can, um, can put more stuff in there now, because there's still room, but jets there only give us seven kilos. So I've got more stuff, and that's gonna have to go somewhere else, so. What I've done is, this is what I'm wearing, basically, my, my footwear and my sneakers. Any, the other footwear that I would like to take would be jandals, which I'll buy on the road, because they don't cost much. Uh, my fleece and my jacket. I'll wear those when I check in, so they can't charge me extra weight for them. And this is the extra stuff I've got, basically, the rest of my tech gear, which is going to go into the pockets of these things. So to get away with seven kilos, uh, this is what is going to go into my pockets. Well, basically there's my money belt, which will go around my waist, which has got the important stuff in it. Uh, there's a spare like kind of day bag over the shoulder bag, which I, I like to use, which I can shove inside the coat down uh, in the bottom there. And then I've got 
my wallet will go in my pocket, iPod can go in my pocket, and then the pockets of these will be uh, my power bank, very useful thing to have. Uh, my keep cup with uh, that you can use water in, I like carrying those around. Uh, a spare camera, power bank. <laughs> It wasn't okay. a power bank. That was a. <laughs> this is the external hard drive. This is a power bank. Similar size, size and weight, but um, both useful tech things that are going to go in my pockets. Um, the fluids that I'm going to take on that you have to show when you check in or for security. Anything under 100 mil, that's all in there. And the last thing is sort of my tech gear, cables, um, SD cards. Um, charging cables and stuff like that. That's all going in my pockets and then we'll be ready to board the plane, seven kilos carry on to travel for the next 10 months. So we're all set up now to go to the airport. Uh, got everything in my pockets, in my fleece and this jacket. And yeah, basically I've got seven kilos in my bag and about three kilos, I think three, three and a half kilos is the uh, fleece and the jacket uh, together. Now. It's pretty straightforward. You go and check in. They don't care what you're wearing. As long as your bag weighs seven kilos, it's gonna weigh seven kilos. So we're good to go. They charge an extra 33 kilo, uh, $33, I think it is. For three kilos. For three kilos extra uh, check-in. So no, carry on. Carry on. In advance. Yeah. But so at the airport itself, it's $30 for one kilo. Yeah. So we've gotten around that by, I went out to the, uh, um, uh, second hand shop and bought a six dollar jacket which has got a few pockets in so can you and show us lee yes what do you have in I've there got, well that's my bag that i'll take my stuff through keep cup keep cups there they're my um cables and things like that it from that jacket. So where's the where's the blue bag, Lee? Okay, so the blue bag is uh, inside the lining down the back there, and that's just sitting sitting in there. So that's once I've checked in and I've gone through, I can take all this stuff off, put it in my bag, and it's fine, not a problem. But this is just getting us through check-in. Cables. External hard drive. External hard drive. Camera. Power bank. And the good thing is, when you go through security, you just take your jacket off, chuck it in security. They scan it, and you're not mucking around getting all your things out of your pockets. A few things in those pockets. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how we're going to travel uh, long term for very little. Now we've saved. We worked out over like four flights. We've saved something like one hundred and sixty dollars in extra luggage charges. Is that in total or is that each? That's in total, yeah. So maybe $80 each. Oh no, sorry, that's that's each. <gasps> yep. Gosh. Four flights, yeah. So with that extra money, we can get on the other end and we can buy yourself something that you might not have packed or you've left behind because you think you might not be able to squeeze it in. But it's amazing how little you need. This is all we need to travel long term. We're really happy about this and um, we're all set up and we're ready to go. So. Thanks for the hard work, Pablo, in uh, assisting me <laughs> with this. I do appreciate your help. And uh, if you've got any questions, please do put it down in the comments below. Frugal Travellers, uh, we'd like to answer any questions that you've got.